guys, it's Stephanie from My Porch Prints, and today I'm going to be showing you how to craft this uh, mini bookshelf for some of the mini books that I sell in my Etsy shop. And this mini bookshelf is from a printable kit that I also sell in my Etsy shop. And so um, let's go ahead and just get started. First of all, I've cut out all the pieces for this and we're just gonna go ahead and put it together. I'm gonna show you how to do the folds really quickly. So um, you can see this is the main piece uh, of the bookshelf. And what you're gonna do is fold it all along the sides and then fold all of the tabs. And a good thing to do is to get a ruler to make sure that your edges are straight. So that is where we're gonna begin. So the reason that I uh, decided to create this printable mini bookshelf is because a few people said, you know, I love these mini books and I like making them and I'd like to display them. Um, is there a way to make some kind of little mini bookshelf to go with them? And I thought that was a really cute and fun idea. So I went ahead and designed this. And it's kind of cute. It's got kind of a shabby look and then also kind of a faux wood, wood grain look. And I thought it would be a really cute and fun way just to show off some of those mini books that you guys like to make. And just so you know, this is for the standard size mini books, um, not the larger like um, junk journal mini books. Uh, these will still fit, but they have to go sideways. They won't fit upright on the shelves. So what I'm doing right now is just folding the tabs and then I'm also going to fold all along these lines, uh, these, these shorter tabs on the edges here. And once you have your tabs folded, they're going to go ahead and fold around to the back side and uh, you can tape them in, or glue them into place. I'm gonna go ahead and use tape because it's pretty quick and easy. your edges are lined up flush before you tape it into place so it's not loose and then these tabs kind of just fold back like this so this will be the main part of your bookshelf and then um, I'm gonna set that aside for a moment and go ahead and start working on the um, inner shelves which are actually just kind of like little boxes and I don't know if you can see this very well because it kind of blends with the wood background so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this guy here and there you go, that should be a little bit easier to see the edges and stuff. So same process, we're gonna fold it all along the edges of this main centerpiece, and then we're gonna fold all the outer tabs. and then these tabs will go underneath here and you'll tape those in place as well. And then that'll become a little interior box, which will create a bookshelf. And then you also wanna tape down these smaller uh, thin tabs on the sides because they'll need to be uh, flat and flush with the box in order to fit inside your bookshelf. Just like that. And then you'll repeat that process for the other two bookshelves. And then what we're gonna do is take our main piece and we're gonna go ahead and add, and add some edging around the outside so it has a more finished look. And so we have the top and bottom pieces and then these are the sides. So we're gonna go ahead and cover up this rough edge on the top here. 
So again, same process, fold the tabs. And do that for all of your pieces. All right, and once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and um, <clears throat> I'm going to um, tape this top piece down, but I'm gonna leave these side pieces open for a moment because these tabs are actually gonna fit behind these. So um, let me go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna tape this back here like this. And then what I'm gonna do with this top piece is I'm going to put some glue on it and attach it to the top of the bookshelf here. And you may want to use real glue instead of glue stick because I've noticed that glue stick will sometimes dry and kind of crack apart. But I'm using glue stick here just, just to save time for drying time. So I stuck the top piece on top here and I wrapped the tabs around the sides and I'm just holding it until the glue dries. And that just gives it more of a finished look on the outside edge of your bookcase. And then we're gonna repeat that process with the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this shut just like the other piece. I think I folded this a little bit crooked. Hopefully it'll still work. And then this will wrap around just like before. And then now we can go ahead and tape these side pieces over the tops of our tabs. and then we'll attach the uh, decorative side pieces. So um, the side pieces are a little different because um, they also have tabs, but we don't want them showing. It's just mostly to give it kind of a finished edge right here. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue these tabs down on the longer side pieces, just like this. And then we're going to put glue on these side pieces and attach them here. You can see it's kind of starting to come together. And then um, same thing on this side. And it's perfectly natural to have a little bit of gap, um, but if you want to use an extra tape to reinforce you know, where that's attached, you can do that. And that kind of finishes it off so it's not so loose right there at the corners. Okay, so bookshelf is coming together and um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of my pre, 
folded pieces here. And then the last thing you're gonna do is put these bookshelves in. Now, if you wanted to, if you want a larger space for maybe like larger, larger journals, let's see if I can figure that out, there we go. Um, you could leave this empty and then maybe use um, a piece of wood to finish this off from one of your other pieces, you know, maybe just cut this off and glue it to the top of this one. And that would give it a finished look and you could have a larger space up here. But otherwise, these should all fit in here. And it's a really tight fit, so you may have to um, do some wiggling to get it all to come together. There you go. And that's your bookshelf. And then, um, like I said, the larger journal pieces don't fit. You can put them in sideways if you want, but this is for the um, smaller size mini books. And again, it's a pretty snug little fit but uh, I think it'll hold most of them. So there you go. A little bookshelf for your little mini books. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.